Today is the last day to go ahead and vote early in the Georgia primary election. Once polls close tonight, voters will have to wait until Election Day on Tuesday. A lot of people have taken care of business already, though. We are seeing an unprecedented amount of early voters. More than 615,000 votes cast so far. The new Georgia project works to get voters engaged, and they say this year they're seeing plenty of new young voters. But one thing they're seeing less of is mail-in votes since Georgia changed voting laws. Uh, they definitely say that it's just been harder for them to uh, receive the absentee ballots and uh, it's just been more restrictions. So some people have found it easier for them to just go ahead, get up uh, and just head to their, find their nearest early voting location uh, so they can just go ahead, avoid any lines that could potentially happen on May 24th. After today, absentee ballot drop boxes will be closed. Republicans argue that the changes to Georgia's voting laws make elections more secure. The state's top election official is in a tight race of his own. We asked him about the record turnout. What's your reaction to this record-breaking voter turnout? It's fantastic. What it shows is it's never been easier to vote in Georgia, but we have the appropriate guardrails so that security's in place. And when you have strong security, that elevates people's confidence in the process. So now we have photo ID. On Tuesday, all eyes will be on the governor's race. Incumbent Brian Kemp and former Senator David Perdue are the top contenders on the Republican ballot. They'll both be on the campaign trail today. Sarah Palin plans to endorse Perdue in Savannah. And on Monday, former Vice President Mike Pence will rally with Governor Brian Kemp in Kennesaw. We have everything you need to know about the primary election all in one spot. We can send it straight to your phone if you like. All you have to do is text vote to that number you see right there or check out our story on 11alive.com.